This individual with spina cerebellar ataxia type 2 manifests primarily a dystonic syndrome. While seated, she exhibits retrocollis together with lateral collis to the left and elevation of her left shoulder together with dystonic muscle jerks of her upper trunk. While walking, her retrocollis becomes much more prominent together with some mild apisthotinus, severe enough to disturb her gait. Um, in spite of her designation as spina cerebellar ataxia 2, her gait is not necessarily that of a cerebellar ataxia, but rather disturbed by her marked axial dystonia. She does have to hold on to stabilize her gait as she walks.